What's up guys, my name is George LaHoff and today I'm Maker's Best Friend. I'm going to show you guys how I made this router planer sled so that I can plane all of my wooden slabs this big or any piece of wood I'm working with to make sure it's flat on the top and bottom after I'm done with it. Check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut two 2 by 4s to 6 feet long. That'll be for the side rails. Here we go. Next, we're going to want the other piece of 2 by 4 to be able to extend and cross the entire slab. So the slab and most of its greatest points are about 29 and a half inches. Um, so we don't want it to be too tight. I'm going to make the 2x4 pieces 30 inches long. Um, that way it'll sit right inside of it. Let me make a correction. Some of the longest, uh, some of the widest pieces of the slab are about 31 to 32 inches. Um, and because of the way the slab curves, I'm realizing I should actually put a good amount of room so this thing can actually sit in it. Um, so I think... I don't think it's more than three or four inches. So I think we do 36 inches uh, of pieces for the middle part. Um, and that way it'll really sit in there pretty nicely. Here we go. All right, so now that we've cut down the rails and the pieces that are gonna be under the mill, there's two things we have to make sure of and I'm gonna be using a joiner to ensure. We're gonna to have to make sure that the width of the rails are flat. This is the part that the sled's actually gonna ride on, right? So you need that to be flat and level so that when the sled is riding on it, you're cutting on the same plane without angling and curving. That's the first important thing. The second important thing is to make sure that the flat side of the two by fours that are gonna be underneath the slab are flat as well because that's what the slab's sitting on. We're gonna use a joiner to do that for uh, both sides of everything. You can use a joiner and a table saw. You could use any jig you make to do this type of thing. Just make sure you're using flat level sides and pieces of everything. Here we go. Now that the wood is flat on two edges of each piece of the wood, I'm going to use a planer and a table saw to make sure that the other two sides are flat as well. It's important here, as well as with all the other cuts in this build, to ensure that everything is planed and cut to the exact same dimensions, so the entire slab of wood will sit as flat as possible on top of this jig. All right, now I have uh, planed down all the uh, wider pieces so they're flat. I'm now gonna be using a table saw for the longer pieces of the jig. Um, and I'm gonna use that because it'll be um, easier to actually make sure both sides are flat. So I'm gonna put the flat side against the rail here. Uh, the table saw will cut off the other end and make sure that's uh, parallel to that flat side. Um, I'll make sure they're cut to the same width, the same as the I did for the wider pieces. Here we go. Now that everything is cut to size and flat, I'm going to attach everything by drilling some pilot holes and attaching long 3 inch screws to make the support as strong as possible. 
I'm using a right angle clamp to help hold everything in place at 90 degrees while attaching the screws together. All right, this is the sled portion of the router jig for planing. Um, it's all nice and level and right angles and everything like that. Um, so when I put the slab on top of it, it'll be flat. Um, and then I'm gonna be making the top portion now. Uh, we're gonna put the slab on top of it for now. And then we'll, we'll move on to the top part of it. Check it out. All right, at this point, you can actually be done if you want to. You can have this slab. Now that it's level, you can just take uh, some MDF or plywood or whatever is really flat and create just one piece of wood across and use the router on top of it. And you can just do that if you need a quick and dirty type of solution. I'm going to be taking some MDF, making a sled. I'm actually gonna raise it a little bit higher than this because I made this a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, so I want my sled to actually be above it a little. And I'm going to have it riding on the side, so I'm going to put some supports on the sides here so that it will ride on the, on the sides on both sides. And then we'll create a slot in the middle, and we'll also create borders on the sled so that this router, when it's riding, will stay within a certain amount. That's not as necessary because once you have the bit in there, you know, it's pretty hard for it to fall out. Um, but having that just makes it a much better rig, and I'm going to be using this a whole bunch. I want to make it nice and strong and concrete. Here we go. So at this point, you can actually stop and use the router just like this um, and make the line in the middle that the router will run through and it'll work fine as a sled. Uh, just to make it one step nicer, we're gonna take these two pieces and make a border. And once we glue this up, we'll be all done. You don't really need a border for the edges because you're controlling and you don't really want it to be hard for your arm to get out. Um, and this also lets you get all the way to the edge like that. But we're gonna glue up these borders 90 degrees and that'll let this stay perfectly in the middle when it's riding. And then we'll be all done. Check it out. All right, so one thing we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna actually use um, screws to attach the pieces of MDF that are going with the end grain against itself. Uh, I don't work with MDF a lot, and it turns out that uh, wood glue doesn't stick 
too well with the end grain because the end grain absorbs too much of it and therefore it's not a strong joint. So we're just going to use some screws to reinforce the parts that are holding it so that it slides along the side of the rail. Here we go. All right, so now we got the sled uh, structure finished. We just have to make the slot for the bit to travel through. Um, if you have your sled sitting right on top of a piece of work you're doing, which I don't really recommend, uh, you'd have to make the hole big enough for your planing bit. So whatever bit you're using, this would have to at least be able to go from this point and get lowered. Um, because I have enough of a gap, mine sits right underneath the sled and fits so the whole thing can be underneath it without, with just touching the very top of it. So that's perfect. Um, all I have to do is make sure there's a hole, uh, the diameter of this uh, quarter inch bit, and that will allow it to travel from the top. And that way I'm not actually routing out the table while I'm moving it along, uh, which will make it just not last as long. So I'm gonna get a quarter inch bit and I'm gonna make a slot. And all I'm gonna do is really push the router across the middle. That's the guideline, right? Um, and then I'll be able to attach this and we'll be able to use it. Here we go. All right guys, that's how you make your own router planer sled. It was a really easy product to do and using MDF made it a lot easier because I knew all the wood was pretty straight. Make sure you check out my video on how I plane this wooden slab for my friend's computer desk where I'm going to end up using this sled and showing you how useful it is. If you guys have any questions or comments, comment below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks again for watching, guys.